What's going on at Chalk? Yeah, and I'm going to be previewing the uh, championship playoff final between Redden and Huddersfield. They kick off as this bank called a Monday at 3 o'clock at Wembley. And it's one of the biggest games in football, as you like. It's the lottery of £90 million pound of getting promoted back to the Premier League. So, going into this season, who would have thought that Redden and Huddersfield would have been in the final? Because I certainly wouldn't have had them two down as the final. But I tell you what, they've made it. I mean, you know, looking at both sides, I mean, you look at Redden, I mean, for me, I didn't fancy them again in the top six, but fair play to them, you know, Yapstam, you know, he's an unproven manager. Uh, he hasn't really had that much experience of managing in the English game. He's very, very good, you know, he's position at centre back when he played for Manchester United, you know, he's um, been there and done it. But, um, you know, when you're a manager, it's a totally different kettle of fish to, to play. And then obviously, you look at Huddersfield and David Wagner, what a job he's done. I mean, you know, taking a Huddersfield team from being what pretty much relegation candidates to, you know, not only top ten but top six. And you look at Huddersfield as well, I mean they've been what third place in the championship for at least ninety percent of the season. They only dipped to about fifth place in the last month of the season when they knew they were safe in the um you know in the championship. And I mean the fact that they were challenging us, you know, um, you know, for at least eighty percent of the season is an achievement in itself, you know, the, the fact that they had a chance of even um, getting over max box was a massive achievement in itself. And, uh, you know, I'm expecting a very, very tough game, you know, I mean, there's so much writing on this game, you know, and nobody wants to be a loser in the playoff final because if you win it, you're brought back to the Premier League, the biggest league in, well, the biggest league in the world, as they say, you know, there's so much money in it, the TV deals and things like that. And, uh, you know, it kind of links in, you know, to who will be joining us in Brighton in the Premier League next season. And uh, obviously players to watch out for, you know, for Huddersfield, you know, you've got the likes of Kachunga, Moy, and probably Naki Wells, they're probably the three players I think that are going to be a threat for them in the uh, playoff final. Uh, you know, they've been a sensation. You know, Wagner's got out and bought a lot of German players, you know, unheard of players, you know, they've tried and tested, but you know, they really have to live at this season when it's mad and Huddersfield have been a breath of fresh air. Some of the, you know, the, 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 the quick passing football, you know, playing from the back, you know, working their way up to the top, and they've been a breath of fresh air and you know when they played us earlier on at St James's Park and the beat with 2-1 they fully deserved to win I mean they gave a great game down there as well and you know that was the signs of you know, Huddersfield really progressing up the league and trying to get promoted back to the uh, Premier League and you know I think they deserve to finish their fifth place in the end um, because you know they've been consistent all season and then obviously you look at Redden you know they've got McCleary to watch out for you know, obviously you've got Jan Kermigan, and then obviously you've got Swift as well. So, you know, they've, they've been getting a few goals as well. Um, you know, they're a hard team to break down. I mean, they're not the most fancy team in the in the, in the championship, but you know what? They go about their business really well and they play some really, really good football. And uh, yeah, like I say, I, I think it's going to be a tough game, a really tight game. But if I was to predict um, who I think will win this playoff final, I'm going to go for a 1-0 for this field win. Um, I would like to see a new team in the Premier League because I've seen men in the Premier League, you know, in the past. But a team like Huddersfield being in the Premier League will be a bit of a breath of fresh air, you know, joining Brighton, who are, you know, who are also new in the Premier League as well. But uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts on who will be winning the uh, Championship final because obviously I'd love to see, to see you know, Huddersfield do it. I'd like to know your opinions on that as well. And uh, yes, um, please check out the uh, last video, the uh, the 12 rounds in James's Park. Um, it's a very good watch. Please um, leave your thoughts and comments down below as well. Also, I'm on uh, social media. I'll link uh, my Twitter and my uh, Instagram accounts down below as well. And uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and it's been Sharky. Jordy's in the rest of the world. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.